close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. Each time you breathe in, think but each time you breathe out, think toe. But toe it means awake. It's a quality of the mind we're trying to develop right now. Where you're awake and alert to what's going on. Because all too often we live in a blur. We're doing one thing, but the mind is off someplace else. Things go on automatic pilot, and as a result, we're not very careful about what we're doing. We don't even get to know our own mind, because the mind is focused away from itself onto other things. But here we bring the mind into the present moment at the breath, which is the closest thing you can find in the body to the breath, to the mind. And from the breath, it's very easy to see the mind itself, what's going on. Because your mind is shaping your, your life. But if part of it is on automatic pilot, then you're not pretty, really sure what kind of shape it's giving. So you want to be careful to watch what you're doing. Be right with what you're doing right now. And try to do it skillfully. Simply being in the present isn't enough. You have to be skillful about how you come into the present. Notice what you're doing that's leading in a good direction. Notice what you're doing that's leading in a bad direction. And try to direct everything in as good a direction as you can. This becomes a gift to yourself and a gift to other people. You can give a better shape to your life, and in giving better shape to your life, you're placing less of a burden on others. This is why the Buddha included meditation in what he called meritorious activity. There's the, the merit of generosity, the merit of virtue, and the merit of meditation. In other words, merit here means a way of finding happiness that causes no trouble to anybody, places no burden on yourself, places no burden on others doesn't oppress and doesn't harm anybody. It may be difficult in, the sense, in that sense, it's, it may be a burden, but it's good. In the long term, it's for the loosening of burdens, the lightening of burdens. And it's a way of finding happiness that breaks down boundaries. If you look for happiness in terms of gain and status and praise, there are a lot of things that you would gain and other people would lose. And that creates boundaries. But when you're generous, it erases boundaries. When you're virtuous, it erases boundaries. When you meditate and try to uproot as much of your greed, aversion, and delusion, that erases boundaries. Because you benefit, other benefit, people benefit too. So give your time to being alert to what you're doing so you can know that you really are doing what's of benefit. And you find that you're not, well, you can move the mind in a better direction. When the mind has been meditating, it's a lot more pliable that way. Once it's settled down and had a sense of well-being, then it's easier to talk to it to get it to change its ways. So this is an activity we should be doing all the time, because the mind is always shaping it, your life. So you want to make sure that that shape is consistently good.